this is me. This is a little blurb uh, that came out right before EA Play at the end of the month. There was an announcement that uh, EA was not going to show any or demonstrate any new Star Wars games at their EA Play. Uh, the event came and went, and indeed, there were no Star Wars games. So I just wanted to bring that up. We, where are we with Star Wars? Are, 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 what, what's out there that we have to look forward to? Is there anything? Game-wise? Yeah. I mean, we all know Does, that... Like, we all know Jedi Fallen Order 2 is coming, for sure. Like, it's going to happen. Um, But, yeah, I mean, you got to think about Battlefront being in development, you know? Especially with DICE, you know? D DICE is, a, is such a huge... You know, it's such a huge property for EA, so it would only make sense for them to roll out, you know, Battlefield 2042, which looks incredible, by the way, um, for them to roll that out and then, you know, a year or two later roll out Battlefront 3 after, you know, kind of the hype has died down from, um, uh, you know, Battlefield, Battlefront, Battlefield rollout, then a couple years later, a year or two later, they'll roll out Battlefront 3 is my prediction, but... Yeah, I but mean that's all speculation. That is speculation, it's purely conjecture. And, and yeah, and so that here's the thing, and I and I'm not trying to make this sound like I'm the chicken little, the sky is falling, Star Wars is dead. We're not having that argument. Let's not talk about the movies. Um, but it, I I have gotten used to the gaming environment always talking about the next. There's always something coming, right? There's always going to be some sort of game to look forward to, whether it's a Battlefront or you know whatever the case is. And it's weird that there's nothing on the horizon that you know we're seeing we're seeing pictures of and we're seeing gameplay of and we're just like oh well yeah this looks interesting or maybe I'll pass on it but it's it's there's nothing there and that's just kind of unusual for such a big franchise. Well, that's the thing though. There is one game that we don't know a ton about. Uh, it's a Switch game. Star Wars Switch game. You can you hear my clackety clack? What was it called? <laughs> Star Wars Hunters is coming in 2021. Uh, players will join. Star Wars Hunters will connect players in real time to battle in settings inspired by iconic Star Wars locales. Players will join squads of all new and authentic characters, including daring bounty hunters, heroes of the Rebellion, and Imperial Stormtroopers in an action game that immerses players in a fast-paced and visually stunning Star Wars galaxy. Still, no... No idea as to what kind of game it is, though. <laughs> yeah, um, and no pictures, nothing. No, just a, no just, a, just no, an no. announcement trailer. Just an announcement. I'm just trailer. saying this is this is kind of a weird pause in here. Yeah, just as somebody that has gotten used to, there's always something in development. Well, maybe, I, and I not don't know. not saying that there's nothing in development. Just just saying that there's nothing like on the immediate horizon, and it just always felt like there was a new game coming every three to six months. Yeah, well, and I, I don't know. I wonder how much of that is Disney, though, too. You know what I mean? Like, you have to think that yeah. they're... Th this is just, uh, I mean, just kind of things stacking on top of each other. Like, oh, we don't want to have too much publicity around Star Wars while we have Marvel content coming out on Disney+, Plus, as well as Marvel gaming content. Like, we want people... We don't want people, you know, like... We want we want to make sure we're making money off of the, the you know, uh, properties we have out there already, like Avengers and, like... You know, there's hype around this Guardians game and stuff like that. That's the only thing that I could think of. So that's a great way to segue into this next question that I had for you. So in a, you know, we've talked about uh, franchise fatigue. So in gaming, is this a good way for them to keep Star Wars fresh or the MCU for that matter? I think so. I mean, I'm not hurting. I still haven't even follow. I haven't finished Squadrons or Jedi Fallen Order. Um. I still so, have to break out the VR set and play Squadrons. I mean, I'll t I, I was hankering for like some nostalgic Star Wars feeling. So you know what I did? I bought Battle the old Battlefront Two, and <laughs> oh, was that's playing. A good one. That game is so good, yeah. and it's still it is still so good. It Galactic is. Conquest dice. What the flip? You could have done something great. You could have given us Galactic <sighs> Conquest, but you didn't yeah. do that, did you? <laughs> You loot box and greedy tools. God. Yeah, yeah old EA days. That, yeah. You know, that's out of it that. Wasn't, that wasn't dice. That was EA. So, yeah, yeah. that is true. Yeah. No, I, I do think you bring up a good point, though, because giving us a couple years and then having, like, a couple years of stuff to look forward to after that, yeah, I mean, I, I, I think that's hype for sure. I would yeah. love a new pod racing game. I'm not even going to lie. Um, well, 
it's been nice talking with you. <laughs> Dude, did you ever play the pod racing <laughs> game, though? Yeah, I did. I did. Back in the day. It's fun. It can be. It, it can be fun. <laughs> I have the platinum trophy for it. So, you know, I'm kind, oh, of, wow. a, I'm kind of a big deal. So I, I love that game. So the first you can't, one. You can't speak to it. Yes. I can't speak to it. I put I put significant hours on it. I played that game on Dreamcast first. I That's where I played it. Yeah. I played it on Dreamcast and um, I didn't have a memory card at the time. So I would literally, I could beat that game in like a day. Yeah. You know. So so at the time, I did not own a Dreamcast. I, we would play that at Brandon's house because he had the Dreamcast. And then I would go home and play Jedi Power Battles on my PS1. That was that was back. That was the day. That was an awesome game too. Ninety nine, two thousand, somewhere right in that range. That, that was sweet times. That was sweet like times. being able to play like as all those different characters too in that game. That was so much fun. I loved that game. See, I love me some. I love some good Star Wars, and those oh. Jedi power battles is one of my top like side scroll. You know, anyway, that's a yeah. whole rabbit the, hole. Like going through like the levels of Coruscant, you know, and like. Yeah. You oh, know, yeah, everything that was good times. That was, yeah, so much fun. Loved Man, it. now now I want to see. Can can you buy that on PC? Maybe I'd be down. I would totally play with you if, I, if it's there. When we're done talking, I'm going looking. Okay, yeah, anyway, do it for sure. I'll report back. Well, whatever possessed you to check out any of the content that you saw today, I just want to say thank you so much for doing so. If you check the description down below, you'll see that there's a variety of different projects that I'm associated with. This is one of you Critic Productions after all. So I just wanted to say if you enjoyed what you saw today, consider giving some of those other projects a chance as well. There's a lot of stuff that uh, I'm a part of that I, you know, that, that I do. If you were here for me or for someone else that you saw today, um, again, just thank you for checking it out and uh, I hope to see you again. But until next time, I'm Gabriel Fast and I'll always be the wannabe critic. Oh, 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 oh,